YouTube, it's Jen and Brad, and we are here for our week 90 something post op lap band update. I'll put it in the bottom, and as always, let us start with the numbers. I am four, four feet tall, she's four feet tall, I, folks. She's this big. I am short, um, I am five feet four inches tall. Started this journey in December of 2012 at 262 pounds. Last week I was 177.4 pounds. This week I am 176 pounds for a 1.4 pound loss and Very a nice. total of 86. Good job, boo boo. I'm six feet tall, starting weight 320. Last week I was 218.6. This week I was 216.4 for a 2.2 pound loss. Okay, so <clears throat> I am just more than seven pounds up for my lowest weight. Where are you at compared to your lowest? What was your lowest weight ever? Uh, compared to my lowest weight, which was like 211 point something. So I'm basically five pounds up. Okay. So, you know, that's not bad for both of us. Um, you're wearing your color run shirt. Um, so, let's talk about our week. I'm sorry, <laughs> it is way... It's past my bedtime. It's past 10 o'clock. Okay, so let's start off. Journaling. Have you been? Yay or nay, journaling. Uh, yes, for the things that I know, but like when we went out this weekend, I didn't even bother putting that in. So I need to be a little more conscientious about it and just writing at least the crap I ate, even if I don't know what it is. And that is something that... Um, but of the journaling I've done, I think that contributed to the weight loss. Um, I am so sorry. Okay, speaking of... point two, that was my lowest. Speaking of journaling... When we go out and we don't know exactly how many calories are in something. I have found, because I have journaled every day for the past, what are we on, 22? Is today the 22nd? Yes, it is. I have journaled every day. And when we went out to that dinner that you're referring to, um, it is eye-opening how... Many calories are in things? Many calories are in things and how... <clears throat> Poorly, you estimated how many calories are in things? No, 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 no. no uh, how I take for granted that things have lots of calories. Because, like, we went out to dinner, and I was like, I didn't do too bad. I had a salad to start. I had a little bit of steak, and then I had, you know, some french fries. Granted, this is, I thought that, and then I had the butter cake for dessert. But prior to oh that. Oh, my God, that dessert was really yeah, butter cake was, was amazing. But prior to that, I'm like, you know, those are not bad. Some, and when I say salad, I'm literally iceberg lettuce with dressing on the side and some bacon, um, the steak, and, and some french fries. But then when you add up every component part, you're like, crap. This is adding up and adding up and adding up. And oh yeah, I had a glass of sangria. And oh yeah, I did have some butter cake. Oh my god, the butter cake was so delicious. Um, but it was ridiculous. The, the, the amount of calories that I consume if I go out to eat somewhere that... <clears throat> Is like when we go out for a, a fun restaurant. Not like if we go out to Chili's, I know what to order and how to be good and to keep it reasonable. But, you know, this was a new steak restaurant. We hadn't been there before. We both wanted to try all sorts of delicious things. And everything was delicious and um, lots of calories. So, but I did go through, and yes, I don't know what the actual numbers are, but I tried to find something um, similar in my fitness pal and I just you know always exaggerate up the numbers for calories so that I don't underestimate and uh, I've tracked <coughs> I've tracked everything and I really I hate it I do not like tracking I'm but I think I don't like it because I don't like the numbers I see I don't like the fact that I cannot consistently eat 1200 or less calories that's just not something that was realistic for me. However, however, I did get another fill. Um, last Thursday, I okay. So last Wednesday, you all, I we did our video. The median jumped out, hit my car, and then I got a fill the next day. And my PA did not want to give me a fill. She's like, it's only been two weeks. You know, you you're a person that had a slip band. We need to be careful. We can't be too aggressive. I'm like, listen, please just give it to me this once. Having had a band now for going on almost two years, I n now understand having had a slip, I understand now what all those feelings I felt in the past, what they mean. And I 
I'm certain that I am not at the right restriction. I need some more. So she's like, fine, I'll give you some. She gave me 0.4. She was only going to give me 0.2, and I sat there and I drank in front of her very easily. She said, okay, I'll give you a little more. We still then, after she gave me the fill, we went to do fluoro. The doctor said it looks perfect. And for once in, in this whole journey, I'm finally starting to feel satisfied for longer periods of time. I mean, I have been frustrated this whole time. I mean, yes, I've lost weight. I've lost 86 pounds. But um, I lost 86 pounds eating smaller portions, but eating all the time. And this now, I'm finally going like sometimes even over three hours without being hungry and that was not something that had happened before and so finally you know it's been less than a week but finally to feel some not just satisfaction on a smaller amount of food but sustained satisfaction um, it gives me hope that this new fill combined with trying to eat better and to the, to the extent that we don't go out to fun restaurants to try new foods mm -hmm. often, I may, you know, be able to keep it under 1,200 or close to 1,200 consistently because now I have something that I'm not always going, okay, I just ate breakfast. When can I have my snack? It's, I'm just, I'm amazed. I love it. It's not about the number of CCs in me, but this last fill and the, maybe the position that you put the band in with the repositioning surgery I had three months ago, I'm finally feeling something that sounds similar to this whole elusive green zone you people talk about. So. Just that. What about you? Do my exercise thing. And, uh, yeah, my last fill, which I had a few weeks ago, still very good fill. Definitely enjoying it. Yeah, you had that fill before I had my <clears throat> two fills ago. Yep. Um, exercising, we... Okay, so last Wednesday we came to you. We exercised that weekend, right? Because you took me jogging. I love jogging in the air conditioning. His gym has an indoor track. Um, I'm not a member of his gym because it's out in BFE, and he goes when I'm doing something else. But that Sunday, um, the friend that I jog with canceled on me. And I'm like, that does not mean I'm not exercising. Brad, will you take me with you? Ugh, running in the air conditioning. So wonderful, but not on a treadmill because I can't walk in a straight line, much less can I run in a straight line. So we did three miles. We pumped that right out. Um, and then this week has not been a good exercise week. We have been involved in our Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America chapter. We're getting into uh, having a fundraiser for the end of this year, which I think hopefully could turn out well. And then... Um, what day are we on today? Tuesday. Then Tuesday. Um, this time, I got hit by a car. I did not do the hitting of the car. Brad was with me because his car had broke the day before. We took it to the shop, go to pick it up. We get hit by a car. He's in the car with me. I have a witness. It was not my fault. But that did ruin our plans of working out yesterday. And then today, um, you worked out because you're good. I did not work out because I was working on the um, weight loss surgery chapter in for, uh, fundraising thing. So tomorrow I am hitting it hard. And you said you're going to come home and job with me tomorrow. Correct. And that's why I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. So what else? What do we have coming up? Okay, so upcoming for next week. You're abandoning me. <laughs> Be a little more... No, he had, he's going to be out of town for work and for, for but not But I'm bringing work. my workout clothes. You are? Mm-hmm. You are? Um, Where are you staying? Are you staying in a hotel that has a gym? Yeah. Is um, it like a, a national hotel or is it like... Hyatt. Okay. Oh, wonderful. But um, one of the people who's coming on the trip with me also works out at my work gym also. Who? Uh, his name is Kevin. And I said, hey, when you're in New Mexico with me, are you going to bring workout clothes? He goes, are you going to bring a workout clothes? And I'm like... Yes, he goes, all right, we'll work out together then. Oh, good. So I got a person who will work out at the same time with me, so that, that's good. That's great. So next week you will not be able to weigh in, so it'll be two weeks before your next weigh-in. Correct. I will weigh in next week. I need to break through. I need to get down below the 174s again. I say get down. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger said get down. That's really sad if you have to explain it. 
just in case for people who've never seen one of his movies, maybe. Yeah, that's the reason. There's a lot of young people on the the interweb (laughs) that might not be familiar with his movies. (laughs) So, anything else? Question. Query. Are you going to keep journaling after October? I think I might. I like that. I I think I might. I owe it. (laughs) You owe it for like all of 2014 that you didn't do it? Exactly. Okay. Anything else we need to discuss? November is going to be a tough month. We have a lot of going out of town. Got a lot of holidays, a lot of travel coming up, so we'll see how we do. A lot of family celebrating, and I... We gotta stay strong, stay tight, keep tight. We're going to New York. Oh my gosh. How do you not eat... We're going to visit my sister. The delicious, delicious, delicious food. My sister... So this is my older sister. I don't know how she stays... Well, she exercises a lot. She stays as fit as she is. She's in very good shape. Um, but she and her husband loves to eat. And when we go up there, it's kind of like everything that they have there tastes way better than the shit we have here. Well, it does. I mean, the Chinese <laughs> I mean, it's food. Crazy. Do you remember? And then we got the bagels. Oh, my God. And I'm not having any bagels because I... Am... I will have to. I know you are. No, I'm saying I'm treating my band no, with respect I this time. You. But, but I like, will eat that Chinese food. They have up there. Like and the ridiculous part is, if you can dream it up to eat, someone will deliver it to you in 30 minutes or less. No, not in 30 minutes you, or less. You Do you remember how long we waited for those bagels? I almost died waiting for the yeah. bagels last time. But you, you never have to leave. Yeah, it was delicious. So, yes, November is going to be challenging, but we're going to do it, and we are going to. We just need to make a commitment that even, even in delicious New York, we're going to journal. Yep. And we got our 5K coming up. 5K and then in December, got my 10K. and then our. Yep. Power to the people. Pizzle. <laughs> These late night videos are... Yeah, I gotta go to bed. Yeah. So if you're still watching, after all my yawning, after his <laughs> Arnold impression <laughs> and his gang signs... <laughs> God, could I look scarier? Um, okay, so that is it. I will see you next week. Until then, kick some fat asses. Hope you're all big losers. Thank you. I'm like, I don't Come know. Come on. <laughs> Catchphrase. I will see you next week. So, lose big. See you later. What, are you about to do something? I'm going to go turn off the camera. <laughs> Good night, guys. I'm going to bed. Goodbye, YouTube. <laughs>